guys and welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ken and today we're here to review uh, the new Firestarter film. Yeah, the new uh, remake uh, starring Zac Efron. Zac Efron. Yep. Zac Efron. Uh, remake, re I don't know what they call it. There's a rule for like adaptations. Gotcha. Um, as far I as like the that, remake but... or, or whatever. There's people that are very particular about what you should call it. Gotcha. When it's an well, adaptation of source material. So I'm this not, would ju just that this would just be another adaptation <laughs> gotcha. of the the Firestarter novel. But before we get into talking about Firestarter, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, Mary with Media, hit the subscribe button. Also, be sure to like this video and comment down below uh, what your thoughts on on Firestarter. Yeah. Uh, did did you like the movie? Uh, did you stream it on Peacock? Did you watch it in theaters? Hopefully you didn't go to the theater to see it. <laughs> Hopefully, I can't imagine going to that. I've seen some really bad movies in the theaters, but my yeah, God, I, yeah, watch this one at home. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're, I don't know. What do you want to say about this movie? Yeah, so um, I feel like I just have to address this quickly. Uh, in case you're wondering what's on my lip, I do have a fever blister. <laughs> yes. Um, just so you don't you don't think it's like some food or something, you know. <laughs> I, uh, she got a little bit too close to the TV, and um, you got hit by a bolt of fire. Yeah, he he had to <laughs> he had to say that joke, guys. Is that um, what you call a bolt of fire? Sure, why not? Okay. Um, but yeah, so that is what this is. I, hopefully, it doesn't distract you too much. But anyway, so yeah, fire starter. Um, I remember when we uh, reacted to the trailer. We did react to the trailer, um, didn't we? A few months back. And yeah. we also have a review for the original yeah. on our channel that we, we watched did. last October. So we did like a um, 13, 13 days. Yeah, 13 yeah. days uh, of Halloween. So, and so that was one of ours. Yeah, I, I enjoy the original for, for what it is. It was pretty um, good. It, it was it's, too long. It's not my favorite Stephen King adaptation, but I do think yeah. you know Drew Barrymore is good in it. She's a, she was a good uh, child actor. Yeah. Um, I think she followed up E.T. with that movie. She might have done another movie in between, but. Oh, so she um, did E.T. after? She No, she followed up E.T., so she did that one after oh, E.T. So E.T. was 82, and then Firestarter was, was 84. So. Gotcha. Um, but yes, this is available on Peacock. It's a universal movie. Gotcha. It's directed by a guy named Keith Thomas, who also Has did a movie. Really yeah, he did a movie called The Vigil, yeah. which I've heard good things about. Really? Um, yeah, I've actually heard good things about it. It so didn't I, have the best rating. Did it? Did it not? No, it was like five point something. I, I've heard good things about it. Okay. I don't know. I don't but other know. than that, he hasn't really done anything, right? He hasn't done anything. Um, so yeah, and this is starring Zac Efron yep. uh, as Zac the Efron. dad. Yep. And Zac I, Efron is a daddy now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, what do you want to? Where do you want to start here? Okay, so since you brought up Zac Efron, I mean, I will say that I felt like he did pretty good. I mean, I didn't think he was terrible. See, I'll, I'll say the opposite. I thought he was awful. Really? <laughs> I did. I thought he was awful. Gotcha. Just in the way, this is mannerisms. I don't know. I, I yeah, didn't, I mean. I didn't like anything okay. about his performance. So I'm, I'm just going to be honest and say, I guess I should say this in the beginning. I did not finish watching this movie. <laughs> Yeah. Um, this we is the probably, second review we've done where you walked out on a movie. Right. The first one being Matrix. You know what? I think, you know, that can just be a part of the uh, review process. It was so bad I didn't want to finish it, you know? Yeah. Um, Which is a shame because easily the best part of this movie is the last 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's still not great, but it's easily right. the best part of the movie. I probably got up when there was like 20 to 30 minutes left. Um, yeah. I just, I was over it. Um, but I don't know, I guess, I mean, I can see like what you're saying about him not being great. There were like, I don't know if it was him though, or if it was the writing, it probably, like what yeah. they had him say sometimes was kind of corny. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I, I mean, I kind of like bought that he was a father though. I don't know. I felt like he did that good. Yeah. Somewhat. But, yeah. I don't know. Somewhat. Um, I thought that I hate to, you know, hate on little kid actors but the, the kid wasn't very good um, yeah, I mean, either um i mean she, i didn't think she was awful but she wasn't awful the mom wasn't great yeah. um the uh, i'm trying to think the i kind what of would you like, call the the black woman the research uh, she was person? like in, she was like in charge of the like research center i guess she was trying to find them awful yeah <laughs> she was awful too 
I, I um, mean, I don't know. I, I do think... You had legendary actor Kurtwood Smith in this movie. Red Foreman. He's also in RoboCop. He was in the movie for like two minutes. Yeah. They put his name in the credits like he's going to be a big part of the movie. And he's not. Uh, gotcha. So, spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was just going to say, I, I feel like a lot of it has to do with the writing. Not necessarily yeah. the actors. I don't know. Um, it was just, it just felt so uninspired. It just felt so generic. It was just it like, It felt like let's, a made for TV kind yeah, of movie. Yeah, which they've done a made for TV sequel to Firestarter, which I've never seen that. Oh, okay. Um, but it, it just felt like, hey, Firestarter was a thing in the 80s. Let's remake that. Um, right. And there was just like no creative vision behind it at all. What right. I will say is if you've seen the first Firestarter movie or the original, um, this is very different like story-wise. Like the story is almost completely different. They cross yeah. over a couple of times with some similar scenes. Um, but it's almost completely different, which I, I guess if you're going to redo something, I guess that's good right it's just that when you're when you're going to make it different at least make it um you know actually have a good story yeah good dialogue and performances and right all that stuff so yeah i don't know it just it, it felt like a mess to me yeah this that's uh, across the board right but yeah i mean i don't know i i feel like there's not really a lot to say <laughs> Um, you had the, a lot of people were hyping up the score because John Carpenter did the oh, score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was funny because you had no idea. Right. You don't know who does scores and music and stuff like that. But in the middle of the movie, you're like, this sounds like Halloween music. Right. And I was like, well, that's funny you say that because John Carpenter's doing the score with his son. Know, they yeah. they do the scores together now. Like, I honestly did not know. And so everybody was hyping up the scores, like John Carpenter's coming back to score it. And I thought the score was was okay but honestly it's like it, it's nowhere near as good as like some of their recent work like the new halloween films i don't like the new halloween films that much but those scores are are both great so i, I didn't really get Is too much out of the score though it's either halloween i don't i feel like you might be having some maybe but it's like i said i don't like i don't really like those movies or at least i don't like halloween kills but the score in halloween kills is absolutely fantastic yeah but i still feel like the halloween score for you in general is like one of your all-time favorites so i feel like it's you have there. like favoritism towards it but. that could be but i mean the one for halloween kills is pretty different yeah um um so but um also like because you missed the finale like right. the finale is pretty good like you know it kind of goes it's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> the thing is that in the first one there's like an army coming after her. she's like right. blowing up stuff and they um i feel like that know, scene goes on forever in the too. farm and the barns and stuff yeah. like it really escalates and she's like taking out hundreds of dudes and right. helicopters and blowing yeah. shit up everywhere and this is just like she just escapes from a research facility so she maybe kills like i don't know eight or nine people okay well. um but it is kind of gory little girl, i'd say that's pretty <laughs> i don't remember what the first one was rated or the original was rated but this one's rated r obviously because there's like people getting shot in the head and there's blood and um so in the end she's like straight melting people and like their faces are coming oh, off wow. and stuff so it does go for it as far as like the gore and the effects oh yeah remember the part where she kills a cat she kills a cat yeah that seems uh you know if you're a little squeamish with like well, cat murder well um, they don't show it though yeah yeah they don't show no it they show like, that cat they did they show the aftermath they don't show it after yeah they show the cat you said that they showed the aftermath, but they didn't show the after. What do you mean? They show the cat getting burnt. I just remember like sh her like playing with the cat, and then she does no, that. No, they, but, like, they I don't show the the crispy cat, and it's oh. still meowing, and then she finishes the job because Zac Efron tells her to finish. Oh, well, I guess I totally missed You were on your part. phone the whole time. So <laughs> that's how it goes. I was on my phone a little bit. I just no. remember hearing the cat, but I didn't think they showed the cat. Yeah. Okay. Another well, positive is this was short. It was only 90 minutes. The original Firestarter is two hours. It was so, short, but it felt long. And that's, never, long. Yeah. that's never a good thing. But yeah, they... That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> it's short, but it felt long. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think she's ever said that. Um... <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, they cut out a lot of stuff from the original. There's just not a lot in here. It, this is basically like just a brand new thing. And from what I hear, it's not really a faithful adaptation to the novel. The original was more. So of that. what would you give this? Um, I I give it a one point five out of five. I thought it was horrible. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. Which is a shame. I mean, I like the Firestarter story. It's a, I feel like they could have done a lot more with it, but Blumhouse does what. 
Blumhouse does. I mean, they have their good movies, and then they have their hot garbage. And this was hot, flaming, fire-starting garbage. Yeah, um, I'm I'm gonna have to go with a one, um, simply for the fact that I didn't even want to finish it. Yeah. Um, and what I did watch, it just wasn't great. So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah there you go. There we have it. So don't watch Firestarter. I wouldn't even or bother. Do, so you can see how horrible it if is. If you do watch it, if you absolutely have to watch it, watch it on Peacock and do not go to the theater. Do yeah. not waste your money to get it. But if you feel compelled to watch it, I wouldn't even recommend watching it or wasting your time at all. Right. Um, you know, but really that's just anything. me. Yeah. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Turn on the bell notifications. And if you watch Firestarter, let us know what you thought of it in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.